Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to talk about the release date of iOS 12. Now, if you've seen the previous video where I talked about how you upgrade from the beta version to the final version, I'd mentioned that the final version of iOS 12 will be out on the date that Apple announces the new phones. And that's most likely not the case. I'm not sure where I was thinking that was correct. Uh, it's never been that way before. And uh, I think it was just late when I made that video. But anyway, as far as the dates are concerned, uh, the keynote is on the 12th and on the 12th, we'll see the release of things like the iPhone 10 S or XS. If you ask Siri, it will actually say X. So I normally say iPhone 10, but 10 S and whatever they call the large version. And then on the older devices, the seven plus the six S or six rather plus, and then S E, uh, we'll see all of those updates come out on the 12th for the gold master. Now, what they've done in the past, last year in 2017, they had the keynote on the 12th, which was a Tuesday, and then they released the final version to the public the following week on the 19th. So the 12th and the 19th seem to be what's going to happen. So we'll get the Gold Master on the 12th, we'll get the final version on the 19th, and then iOS 12 will be out, and we'll move on to iOS 12.1 Beta 1. So that's normally what Apple does. Now, if they do something different, it's completely possible that they'll do something different. This has been a really stable version of iOS, so it is possible they could push it on the 12th, but most likely they'll push it on the 19th to everyone. And if you're a public beta tester or a developer, you'll get it on the 12th. Now, as far as watch OS is concerned, same thing in Mac OS Mojave. A lot of the time when they update the Macs, they push them a little bit later. Uh, they could push it the same day as the final release of iOS 12. So iOS 12, I would expect the gold master, the 12th, the final version, the 19th. I'll keep you updated on all of that. And then one viewer said they noticed something that no one talks about, and that has to do with privacy settings in Safari. So they sent me an email with this screenshot taken from Apple and you'll see it says iOS protects your privacy even when websites don't and it shows that there's a cookie popping up saying that it's blocking it and I haven't actually had that happen yet so whether or not that's included in this version is hard to say but if you've had that happen let me know because I haven't seen a single pop-up like that that says to this website's using cookies and website data while browsing, trying to track you. Basically, I haven't run into that. Now I know Mac OS Mojave has the same thing built in. I usually have do not track turned on under settings. So if you go to settings and then go all the way to Safari, and then under here, you'll see there's a couple different things such as prevent cross site tracking, block cookies. I don't want to block all cookies because then I won't be able to use certain features of some websites, but ask websites not to track me. I usually have all of that data turned on, so I'm not sure. I haven't seen that pop up yet, but if you have, let me know in the comments below. Now, if you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll link it in the description below. And this is actually from Mac OS Mojave. So it's an updated wallpaper from that one and will be available on Mojave, but not iOS 12. So get the link in the description below. If you have any other questions or comments, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like, as always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.